Hello everyone, if you are running a business and you need to insert and update the customer or product details consistently, then you know how important it is to create a database in Excel. Here, with the help of a database, you can track employee performance, generate reports, update event details or conduct an online survey. But here, you can do this within a second. So, this is Jihadrian Jim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a database in Excel with form. So, the first question occurs, what is a data entry with form in Excel? Normally, users input their data cell by cell in Excel. But if you want to create a larger data set, then Utilizing data entry with form is the best thing for you. But before that, we'll talk about the database here. Here we have the name of the fruits, product ID, states, unit price and cells in column B, C, E and F. We have already created a database with form here and our target is to create this thing with a step by step. For this tutorial, I'll be using Microsoft Excel 365. So without any further discussion, let's get started. At first, we'll select any cell of the data range. Now, we'll press Ctrl plus A to select the whole data range area. Now, to create table, we'll select Ctrl plus T in the keyboard and here we'll have create table dialog box. If everything is selected correctly, then tick on my table has headers and click OK. Now your data range has been converted into a table. To create or add a form, you need to go in the file tab. Here you will select the options. You'll have Excel options dialog box, go for the customized ribbon, here we'll select the all comments option and now go for the form section. Now you will select the form in the choose comments from section and at the right side customize main ribbon, here you'll insert a new tab where you want to get the rename option of form section. So in this dialog box of rename, you'll write down the form here and click OK. And now you can easily go for the add option and click OK to get a new data set. Here you'll get the new tab option where you have already got the form option. If you go to any cell and click on the form section, then in the creating table, here you will have fruits of the first and product ID states unit price cells. If you click on any of the cell but go for the form then it will show the first number of the data range which means it will show the result of the B5 cell here of bananas. So that's how we can easily create database in Excel with form. Now we want to add new record to create database in Excel. To do that, at first we have the heading names of the data range here. We'll select the data area by pressing Ctrl plus A in the keyboard. After that, we'll go for the data range. So we'll press the Ctrl plus T to create the table. And now in this section, we'll select my table is headers and click OK. Then you'll see your data range has been converted into a table. After that, you'll go for your first cell. In this section, we have created a form. So select new tab and go for the form. And in this new section, you have add new record. Now we'll go for our new record here. In the food section, we'll enter the bananas as our new record. Then We'll move on to product ID, which is in this case 1001 and here we have P1. After that, we have states, which is in this case 
Ohio and next section we want to enter the unit price which is in this case 111 and in the cell section we can easily insert 2210 if you click on the new record here in the add new record dialog box then you'll get your perfect result in the worksheet so you can easily insert add new record to create a database in excel let's try and fulfill all the cells after inserting every new record the database will look like this so that's how we can easily create database in excel by adding new record now we have created a database here but now we want to delete a record from the database assume that you want to delete this row 10 here so we'll at first go for the new tab we have created in our step section then we'll go for the form section to open delete records but it is showing the first record to get result for any other cell if you go for the scroll section then you will go for the blueberries here after selecting the proper row you will go for the delete option if you click on it then you will have a confirmation section if you click ok to the displayed record will be permanently deleted then you'll get your record deleted here so that's how you can easily delete a record from database now we want to edit or update a new record so we'll again select any cell here go for the new tab we have just created in our step section select the form and now you'll have edit or update option if you just like you want to change the value of apple then you'll scroll it down in the edit or update section and you'll have the apple now you can go for the which value you want to change here you have fruits product id states unit price and sales suppose now i want to change the sales number here here we want to change the value from 3709 to 4000 you can do this and click the enter button then you will see in the data set you have edited your new record so that's how you can update or edit a new record here now we want to search for a data with proper criteria we'll select any of the cell of the form go for new tab and form section like the previous method and now we'll select criteria in the searching record option here you will have the searching record criteria you'll select ohio as we are trying to search for the ohio if you click the find proof then it will show you the result but to get the first result you have got that but for the next result you will go for the find next then it will take you to the second match here if you click the find next if it doesn't find then it won't change here but it finds any kind of match then it will change the search data also so that's how you can easily search with criteria in the database suppose you have already opened a form in this section and now you want to close it down to close it down at first you'll go for the close option and click on it to close it down you will again go for the same section if you want another chance then you can also go and select the cross section to close it down so that's how you can easily close excel form last but not the least the following keyboard shortcut might be handy while working in excel form at first we'll go for the new tab form section to open the shortcuts here and now in this section we can go for the next portions by using the tab here here we are insert the fruits now if you click the tab in the keyboard that will take you to the product id again tab you will get the states again tab unit price but suppose you are trying to get into the previous zone so you'll press shift plus tab to go into the previous section again press shift plus tab to get into the previous section that's how we can easily handle the database by using keyboard shortcut in excel 
So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelemy.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.